The Australian Open only a week away. We have a massive amount of players who are in danger of missing the Australian Open because they've either been injured this week or they've carried an injury from last season into this one. And we've also got players that have pulled out of the Australian Open altogether. Let's start with the players that have pulled out officially from the AO 2023. With the first Grand Slam only down the road, players that will not be playing include Venus Williams, she pulled out officially today. Wong has also pulled out. Tormo also pulled out. Simona Halep has also pulled out, not because she's injured, but she's on a ban. So she actually didn't even enter the tournament, so she won't be playing. Monfils also pulled out. Riley Opelka pulled out as well, which is the big news there. Carlos Alcaraz, the biggest withdrawal from the entire tournament, he's out. And Naomi Osaka is also out of the event as per today. So some former champions, some Grand Slam champions in general, all missing the first slam of the year. Let's go have a look at the players that are in doubt for the Australian Open or are carrying an injury heading into the first slam. Starting with Chilich. He's injured. He injured his knee in India last week. Kyrgios has an ankle problem that he's been dealing with for the last couple of weeks. Tomanovic, she has a knee problem that she's been battling the last few weeks as well. Yannick Sinner also has an injury that he picked up in his match against Sebastian Korda in Adelaide. It seemed to be a hip injury or something to do with his side. Emma Raducanu, of course, had to withdraw from her match after rolling her ankle, so she's coming in with an injury. Ons Jabur, she had a back problem in her semi-final in Adelaide this week, so she also withdrew from Adelaide next week, so she's in trouble. Sviantek pulled out of Adelaide next week with a shoulder problem, but I wouldn't be too concerned with Sviantek. I think it's more about resting and recovering for the big slam. Holger Runa also out of next week's event in Auckland to recover, so whatever that means, he's trying to recover for the Australian Open. And of course, the big one, Novak Djokovic, who just won the Adelaide International with a bad hamstring, so it's not so much whether or not he can play, because he proved that he can play with an injury, it's whether or not he pulls up better for the Australian Open, but still, there are some doubts around Djokovic's fitness going into the AO. So there you have it. The players that have officially withdrawn from the Australian Open and players that have coming in with some injuries. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of the names that I mentioned that are in doubt for the Australian Open actually pull out of the Australian Open because only 24 hours ago, Naomi Osaka was on my list for in doubt and she officially withdrew. There's some players that have some really bad injuries that could take them out of the Australian Open. But let me know down in the comments below, who are you going to miss the most? from the Australian Open, from the official withdrawal, and who would you be most disappointed not to see at the Australian Open with the ones that are in doubt who have some injuries going into the first Open? So the first slam a week away, and there are some huge injury concerns for some of the key players going into the Australian Open.